Let us now try to understand how to find probability using tree diagram. So the question here is, draw a tree diagram to show results of tossing a coin three times. What is the probability of getting at least two heads? That means two or more, right? That is meaning of at least two heads. Let's try to do this question. First, draw a tree diagram to show results of tossing a coin three times. So when you toss a coin, what can you get? You can get either head or tails, right? So let's write both these options. You can get head or a tail. So that is the first toss, right? In the next toss, you can again get head or tail, right? For both the conditions, correct? So you can again get head or tail, head or tail. So that is the second toss. Now when you toss it for the third time, then also there are only two possibilities and both are equally likely, head or tail, right? So we get head or tail and head or tail, right? So let's write it down. So we have possibility of getting head or tail, head or tail, head or tail, head or tail. So these are the possible outcomes when you toss the coin three times in a row, right? Now, let's write down what do you get ultimately. So when you toss, you get head, head and head. So let's go through this branch. This branch gives you three heads. The next one is head, head and tail. So we get head, head and tail. And then the combination is head, tail, head. Head, tail, tail is the fourth combination. Now let's do with this branch, which is tail first. Tail, head, head. Then tail, head, tail. Tail, tail, head. tail, tail, and then tail. So these are all the possible outcomes, right? So let me write down possible outcomes. So how many are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 possible outcomes, right? That was expected. Since we are doing it 3 times, and every time we have a choice of two, it could be either head or tail. So the number of outcomes was two times two times two. That was eight, right? So that is the expected result, right? So we have the tree diagram representing tossing a coin three times. Now the second part of the question is, what is the probability of getting at least two heads? Now, if you're tossing it three times, at the most you can get three heads. So that means either you get two heads or you get three heads. So these are the combinations, right? So let's count out of these possible outcomes, how many of them have at least two heads. That means two heads or three heads. So one of them is the three heads, right? At least two, that works. Two heads. Two heads, this also works for us. This doesn't, it has only one head. Now this works. None of these. So out of eight possible combinations, one, two, three, four have at least two heads, right? And therefore, the probability for us is equal to four out of eight. And that is half, 50%, right? So you could write probability as half or in person, you can write this as 50%. So either one of them is the right answer. So we say, well, the probability of getting at least two heads is half or 50%. I hope with this you understand how to draw a tree diagram and find the probability for an event to occur. Thank you.